What is going on everybody? It is Nuch here, just here to remind you that if you are enjoying the content to leave a like and a comment on the video. Also if you want to make sure you never miss anything make sure to subscribe and if you want to get all the latest information on what's going on on the channel and to get in touch you may follow me on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll speak to you in the video. How's it going everybody and welcome to the latest episode of our Forza Horizon 2 Let's Play. As you can see we're about to do the bucket list challenge that is in the uh, Sisteron area. Basically involves dodging as many uh, cars as we can with the, uh, well we've got to talk about to get uh, 20 points we've got to get. Basically with this Zonda which is an absolute beast which I was supposed to get in the system that way. Oh I didn't think we actually had a specific way to go, god damn it. I thought we could go anywhere we wanted and dodge the traffic but clearly that is not the case and this has been a failing to start to the episode already. First exit at the roundabout, she's saying. So we will take the first exit at the roundabout. I thought I'd left the uh, sat nav thing on from when I was coming here, but uh, anyway, uh, welcome to the last episode of Horse Horizon. Uh, first thing I do really want to talk about, and the traffic is just lining up for us here. Yeah, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, ooh, the fact that there have, hasn't been a, a video up on the channel for the past couple of days. Uh, there is a reason behind that, and that reason is simply work. Yeah, I've been working away from home the last few days, which has been a bit of a pain in the arse, really, as far as recording goes, because I've obviously had no Xbox, no PC for editing, none of that kind of stuff, which makes uh, dodge that traffic, which makes everything uh, pretty impossible to do, really. Uh, it is going to be something that continues in the future, as far as uh, 60 million and stuff, or four more to go, as far as the actual schedule's concerned. However, my god, this is a beast when it gets going, lamppost, Jesus. But um, I think I have thankfully got a way around it, and I am going to be putting up a vlog video over the weekend explaining what's going to be going on the channel, because hopefully we'll be able to keep it all together as it is, but um, if there is the odd day where there isn't a video, that is the reason behind it, and we get that straight away. Wow, that was uh, pretty rare for me. Normally I screw up on these kind of things. Actually, I did go the wrong way at the start, so uh, I did screw, still screw up, kind of. Um, I've not been looking at all how long, uh, what time I started this video, I know that was only a couple of minutes long, but usually I uh, have a look before, so I know roughly how long I've got left. But um, the first thing we're going to do now, we've done that challenge, so the second thing we're going to do, actually, I suppose, really, is pick a new car. We've got a wheel spin as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, we've been in this Skyline uh, for uh, the last episode or so, and now we've driven that Zonder in the bucket list. It is time for uh, a new ride. So, um, so far, we've driven a muscle car, a supercar, and the JDM sports cars, I think they're called the Skyline. So we're going to be wanting something different again. I did look at the Hummer last time, but I still don't think we're going to be going with that one. I'm tempted to go with like a um, a track car, whatever they call them. So things like the Aerial Atom or something like that. I think we've got to, uh, we'll do the wheel spin first. If we get anything from this, then we'll drive over to the uh, festival area itself. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. God damn, our wheel spin look is so freaking bad. 4K, that is absolutely awful. So now we need to go to the here to continue the road trip, which is like literally Get right around the corner. So. In fact, is this it right here? Are we are we here? We seem to be right on top of something. Oh no, it's just a bucket this thing again. Damn it, I thought that vanished after you'd done it, but obviously you can just do that as many times as you want. So we need to head to did it set the waypoint? I don't think it set the waypoint. Please work. I did set the white port. Where do we need to go then? Ah, this way. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. He was just out the map. Couldn't quite see. It. So, um, yeah, we need a new car. I want to try something different. It's probably going to be something like a uh, aerial atom. I'm thinking. Uh, oh my god, I'm such a fucking terrible map reader. I swear to God. In here, and then we'll pick our new car. But uh, yeah, like I say, I think it's probably going to be something like a. Uh, Aerial Atom or a Radical or something along those lines. We'll see what the options are when we get in here now. But um, I do want to try and keep it fresh with the car choices. We'll see what other choices there are as well. Um, Auto Show, that's where we need to go, isn't it, I think? Pick a new car. Right, you yes. Wow, Renault 5 Turbo, that is sexy. In fact, the Renault 5 Turbo is pretty tempting, actually. And it's recommended, which are uh, all the better. Um. There's the aerial atom. In fact, you know what? Stuff it. We are going to go for the old-fashioned beast that is the Renault 5 Turbo. Really, really nice car. This is, I enjoy, always enjoy these when um, I'm playing on Forza and all those kind of games. But um, 
Let's see what liveries we can choose. Wow, that is that is old school. We're going to go for that. Oh, I think I saw a dead nose yellow one after we picked that. Can we change that? Oh my god, that looks so nice. That's the uh, old school rally vinyl, actually, I think. So we'll be sticking with that. Yes, we do want to buy this car. And that is the car that we're going to be using in the next area for the next tournament. So I'm looking forward to driving this and getting my hands on it. But, um, yeah, I can't remember what I've been speaking about now, to be honest. I seem to have overlapped myself so many times. But, yeah, once again, sorry for the no videos over the last couple of days. I'll explain more in more detail over the weekend when I um, do my uh, vlog. Ah, the other thing I was going to talk about was um, viewership on the Forza series is nowhere near as high as it is on the um, the FIFA series. Now, obviously, that is to be expected because this channel's been founded and built on FIFA and that kind of thing. But um, I think I'd know a way that we can kind of grow this series a little bit more because I'm really enjoying Forza and I think it's the kind of game where you can play casually and talk as well as having a good time on the game. Now, what I'm thinking is, wow, just look at that damn motor. That is so nice. Road trip to the festivals is where we're going. Let's have a look on the interior. Wow, there is uh, some old school interior. What kind of look around? I had this problem before. There we go. Wow. Why does the radio always turn off as we get in a new car? Get off. Don't want it on. Sorry. Off. Not on. But um, yeah, what I was thinking of doing, it was um, doing some sort of football stories whilst I was playing Forza Horizon. I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but... Um, I've been a uh, season ticket at Man City for a few years now, well, pretty much uh, the last 10 years on and off with my uh, daddy. My dad's always had a season ticket, oh, not paying attention. My dad's always had a season ticket and I'll go as much as I can with him when uh, work allows me to. But, uh, yeah, I think it would be quite cool to tell some of the stories. So, for example, the whole Aguero thing when we beat QPR, I was there for that day. Um, and not just Man City as well, just football in general. I think it would be quite cool just to... Uh, tell some of the stories and just talk or just talk football in general really while I'm uh, while I'm playing this and I think that would uh, perhaps help appeal to a lot more of you that uh, subscribe to the channel because obviously you all uh, love your FIFA so I'm assuming that you love the uh, the football in general but um, as I actually record this I've just been watching the uh, the Tottenham game it's the second half now but Eric Lamella has just scored an absolutely phenomenal goal for them he scored a um, Rabona shot from the edge of the area and oh my god it was unreal so um, if you've not seen that find a way of checking that out in fact if you're following me on Twitter you'll see that I retweeted um, a page that uh, tweeted out the goal in like a little vine thing so go check that out on my Twitter it uh, shouldn't have been long ago that I bought it up nidget91 on the Twitter so feel free to go and check that out and also something that I will also be talking about in the vlog I don't want to cover too much that I'm going to be talking about in that because otherwise it'll be pretty irrelevant but um Left, I thought she said right. Left, 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 left. God damn it, that was awful. Wow, look at the uh, red horn on this thing there. Oh, is it? I think it's the horn. That's crazy, but um, yeah, um, I have been a lot, lot, lot more active on social media. And when I say social media, I mean Twitter lately. I've um, been speaking a lot to other FIFA YouTubers and just trying to sort of speak to people that watch the videos and get your opinions on everything. So if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure to do so because uh, that is something that I'm trying to use a lot, lot more. and. I think being interactive can only be a good thing because it helps the channel grow when I'm talking and I can get more um, sort of feedback and uh, talk to other YouTubers. It's really cool to see what they're doing and also it'll help me uh, link up with other people if I want to do things like wager matches and pink slips which is again something that I want to talk about on Sunday so I'm going to stop talking about things I'm going to talk about in the vlog now and uh, talk more about football I think. So um, obviously the Champions League has been on this week as well as a... Wow you're really just going to pull it in front of me like that you absolute dickhead? Jesus. Uh, yeah, the champion. Wow, he this guy wants some. This guy wants some. Jesus Christ! But uh, we'll try for the third time, shall we? Obviously, it's been the Champions League this week, all European footballs this week, and uh, it set a new record on Tuesday. I think it was when there were 40 goals uh, in that day, which is absolutely unreal. And that was some awful driving from me. I thought I was just going to avoid him there. Yeah, you had the. Um, first of all, start off in Man City because being a Man City fan, that he's got to be the place to start, hasn't it? Really. Uh, 2 0 up against CSK in Moscow and then to throw it away from half time being 2 0 up is absolutely appalling, in my opinion. Um, it was the sweaty player himself from FIFA, Seydou Doombi, that got one of the goals as well, which made it even more irritating and means now whenever he scores against me on FIFA, it's going to be even more annoying than it usually is. But um, to throw away a 2 0 lead is really, really poor. and I don't understand in Europe, we always play two up front. I think we did again against Moscow. In fact, yeah, we did because we played. Uh, Aguero and Jekko, I'm pretty sure Aguero, by the way, what form he's in. But um, everyone else in Europe seems to play one up top and sort of pack out the midfield and play possession football. And 
I don't know why we don't do it because it's it's a system that we have played in the past and it's a system that we are comfortable with and we seem to suffer whenever we don't play it. I mean, I know we were 2-0 up so you can say, well, it was working to a certain extent, but to then throw it away, I mean, 2-0 up, there's even more reason to change to uh, the one up front and pack out the midfield to see out the game, but uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty poor and I think Pellegrini's got to take a lot of the flack for that, but at the same time, the players throwing away a 2-0 lead is pretty damn appalling, but... Uh, we're arriving now at our destination, which is the Horizon Festival. I don't know if this is... It's a bit weird because we've come from here once. Is it going to say so we're going to do another road trip to somewhere else now? Let's now see what they're going to say. So everybody, so sorry if there was a bit of a cut in there then. There was a lot of stuff going on in the game that I think was just wasting time with the video length. So uh, we're going to jump in at this point now. Um, I've just signed up for the uh, Retro Hot Hatch Tournament in the next area. We're going to cruise over now on the road trip. And then it probably may well be the end of the video actually because... Uh, there's been a hell of a lot of road tripping in this one. Up a local Italian station playing classical music. I don't know. I, I quite like it. It's definitely different. Yeah, I've heard about that. So you can have like all classical stuff on okay. while you're driving. So we're going to Montalino now. It's not quite the uh, AC Milan centimetre or is it Juventus Montalivo? I don't know. That was an awful pun either way. My God, I was supposed to have turned left there. Turn off the radio again. I wish the radio didn't turn on every time. Some road trip starts or whatever, it's really irritating. But uh, yeah, just last time I was speaking, I think I was talking about Man City and how we threw away a 2-0 lead against Moscow, but uh, other huge result in the night was actually in the same group. We had uh, Bayern Munich absolutely smashing Roma 7-1 at Roma as well, which is absolutely unbelievable. Um, I'm being hit right now on the left-hand side there, but you get off me, good sir. Yeah, absolutely unreal. Robben's first goal in the match was absolutely incredible as well. The way he shifts it onto that... Uh, left foot and just hammers it is unreal. It's something he's known for obviously at this point but it's so difficult to stop. I mean if you've seen that go you will see I mean how quickly he gets it onto the foot and shoots all in one motion is absolutely ridiculous as we're going to sort of fly very wide there and those crops are so high and all up in our windscreen right now but um, yes yeah, 7-1 and it's scary man because Roma aren't a bad team by any stretch of the imagination. We are getting hit constantly on this road trip so far. Everyone wants to fuck off and leave me alone right now. Get some clean driving in, please. But, uh, yeah, 7 1, absolutely unreal. And then we also had um, someone beat Barta 6 0 as well. The Cypriot, I think the Cypriot, anyway, the Cypriot team. Who was that now? I can't even remember. But there was just an absolute butt ton of goals. Um, the next day as well, Chelsea beat uh, another to Maribor, I think it was, 5 0. Eden Hazard's last goal in that game was absolutely phenomenal. He's such a good player. And, uh, yeah, Chelsea are looking pretty strong this season, not only in the league, but in Europe as well, which is kind of scary. And, could we be doing more off-roading than we're doing right now? Because the actual uh, thing itself doesn't look too far away, and yet it says that we're like nine kilometres away. I think we can cut through all this and uh, save ourselves a lot of trouble. This could horribly backfire, and we could just end up hitting a brick wall pretty soon, but I'm confident. I think we can do this. Just gliding through the airfield like it's nothing. Please smash through. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my good lord. Hit a tree in the end, but... Hopefully this shot could all pay off because it is literally right ahead of us looking. We're going to have to do some tree dodging here. But yeah, like I say, I think uh, if I can turn this series into a, like a football talk. And oh my god, yeah, that was an absolutely huge shot. I looked down to 1.4 kilometers now and that was a good call. Saved us a little bit of time. I still don't think we'll have time to start our first race in this area, unfortunately. But um, oh my god, we just about made that. That was crazy. I didn't realize that wall was going to be in the way. Absolutely killed the car, but... Um, Man, this has been off-roading, and that is what this car is all about, this uh, Renault Turbo. It is an old rally car, and uh, it's showing its pedigree right now, because look at that shortcut. That was unreal. Cut off so much time there. Turn left. Here we are, pulling in. Oh, God. Nearly hit the wall there. This car is so damaged right now. And there we are. Welcome to Montalino. Are we going to have a little introduction video here, or...? We're going to get the standard achievement that you get for coming into every area. All right, the retro hot hatch championship. Yes, indeed. You're a man after my own heart. You know, the first car I ever owned was a Mark II Golf. Oh, there you go. I loved that thing. Okay, pick an event to start the championship. So we're going to pick an event, but I think that might actually be the end of the episode, like I said, everybody, because I don't want to get it going on too long. Uh, sorry if this one has been a bit dull because of the lack of races, but like I said, hopefully in the future I can fine-tune the series into a sort of let's talk about football kind of thing, whether it's talking FIFA, what's going on with FIFA, or real-life football, 
anything to do with football will probably happen on this on this series now, even though it's going to be Forza actually happening in the gameplay. So uh, let me know what you think of that idea. Sorry, this video has been a little bit of a, a short one, and uh, I think it's going to be a bit shorter, but we just haven't got time to do a race now because the road trip's been going on for uh, so long. But um, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Once again, sorry, I also apologise for the lack of videos for the last couple of days, but we should be back on track for now and um, hopefully get some recorded over the weekend. But I'm rambling on now anyway. I will see you in the next video, everybody. Nijet. We are managing fine just now. Oh my god, damn.